Hi, in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to set up PRTG NetFlow collector software on Windows 10. And uh, this can be used in your lab environment or uh, in your work place. So you can have visibility on traffic, who's the top talker, what kind of traffic you have uh, in your LAN segment. And uh, I'll be using this 192.168.1.2 PVC, Windows PC, as a NetFlow collector. And uh, we'll be monitoring all the activities on gigabit zero slash one interface and these are the pcs which will be acting as a client and here i have the internet connectivity so let's get started so the first thing is i'll go to the netflow collector software uh, windows 10 pc and i'll show you what settings you need to do on this one so after installing prtg you'll have an icon on the screen and you can open the software. Okay, we'll be using the default login, which is PRTG admin. Okay, now we will go to sensors and click on the add sensor button. And now let me maximize the screen size here. Let me get rid of these notifications. Okay, here I'm just gonna select probe device and uh, click continue. Here, just click on flow protocols and now we go down and you can use custom NetFlow 5 but uh, it's hard to make it work uh, only if you're expert you know which fields you're exporting templates etc uh, then you can choose this option but uh, for sake of simplicity we'll be choosing NetFlow version 5 so I'll click on this plus sign and name you can, I'm just gonna add it lab and then I'll be using port 999 UDP port and the sender IP address. So the sender IP is 192.168.1.1. So I'm gonna input that. Okay. And we'll be binding this to 192.168.1.2 which is the IP address of this Windows PC. You can see in topology. And timeout, let me set it to one minute. And I'm not gonna choose any other sampling option or stream options. Basically, we'll click on create. Okay, so if I go to home page I'll see sensor and there is one unknown sensor which is just NetFlow lab right now there is no data being received because we haven't configured router to send the data one very important thing is uh, as we chose port 999 let me see if I can review that if I go to settings here you can see we chose UDP port 999. Now this is not a standard port. Uh, there is, I don't think as of now, uh, there is no standard port assigned for NetFlow, but uh, you can choose whatever port you want. I chose 999. So now we need to open the port in Windows firewall settings. I already opened the port, but uh, you might have to create this rule. Let me verify inbound rules. Okay, as you can see, NetFlow. And if I show you the properties, ports and protocols, I'm receiving traffic on 999. But 
since you will be configuring it from scratch click on the new rule button and then this will show you a couple of options so you want to select port here and then click on next and then you will choose UDP and then port 999 in our case and then you click on next and then allow connection next and then save it but I already have this rule so I'm not gonna change it so now Windows side is pretty much done click on save now we'll go to the router so here on the router okay. so let me show you the screen topology okay and go to config mode interface gigabit 0 slash 1 and uh, I'll say IP flow ingress IP flow egress so we are capturing traffic in both direction inbound and outbound and I'll exit it and then I'll say IP flow export destination which is 192.168.1.2 and then UDP port number which was 999 and then uh, protocol is UDP so we're saying UDP and uh, we also have to specify we're using IP flow export version is 5 okay so I'm gonna end it now let's just go to Linux or Windows PC and generate some traffic so let me open this Windows PC and I'm just gonna generate some traffic okay Okay, this was HTTP and then I think we can also generate some terminal traffic so line v device 0 to 4 transport input talent and password I'll say 1 2 3 and then enable login and okay so now we enable the telnet on this router just to create some traffic so now I'll choose telnet and the router IP address is 10.0.0.1 okay let's see if it works okay works okay it's it's working but it's just super slow I'm gonna close this because we just wanted to create some traffic that was the whole purpose of enabling telnet now you want to verify if your router is sending the traffic so the command is show IP flow export okay so the flows were exported 899 flows were exported and the destination is this and this is the port number on Windows side it takes some time some time so be patient with that let's check oh here we go so we see we have some traffic let me change the screen size to make it bigger okay hope this will make it better Okay, let's see so you see WW traffic so this is HTTP traffic and then some net bios and then remote control is basically our telnet that we did so yeah that's pretty much it here you can go to the live data and uh, 
there was a spike around this time and yeah that's pretty much it i think you can go more granular on netflow version 9 but this was just to show you how to integrate uh, cisco devices with uh, prtg thank you so much for watching video and uh, please help me by subscribing to the channel like comment share this video thanks again for watching have a good day